So in last section, we created a dashboard for, for the first time. We successfully pinned few of the data from different uh, reports onto our dashboard. Now here in this section, we'll talk about something which is called ask a question about your data. So what it means is you can simply ask a question. I mean, you don't have to visualize anything. You can simply ask a question about your data and get the answers in visual format. So let's see how it works. So let's ask a question about our data. I will click here and ask top five cities. So what it does is it directly assumes that I am asking for discount by cities. So it's showing me five top cities with discount, but I want by profit. So I will change it to profit. And now I have profit by city. So that's how, I mean, that's how simple it is. You can have five cities by profit margin and you can just you want to have this on your dashboard you can just click here pin visual and it will be added to your new dashboard you can again go back to dashboard and see the data has been pinned right as simple as that i can ask more questions total sales this is the figure i got i can you know i have the still have the option of all the visuals i can change however i want to but I will keep it as it is and I will pin it uh, to my dashboard. So 8.95 million has been added to my dashboard. And here on dashboard, you can move around. You play around your tiles and you can, you know, move tiles from here to there and here to here like that. So you get a lot of flexibility there. You can move things around and you can, you know, adjust your dashboard however you want to do that. So this was about how you can ask a question about your data and get the answer in visual format right here yeah. now we'll see something called as quick insight so for that i will go to my workspace i will click on my reports and you see a bulb here it says quick insights let's see if there is any quick insight in my sample report 3 so i will click here and starts searching for insights so it may take some time we have to wait for that so now the insights are ready so we can view it. I will click on view insights. And there are so many visuals which Power BI has identified, which they think there is, you know, uh, quite a good insight for our users. So you can see average of unit price by product subcategory is this. So this copies and facts and office mach machines have noticeably more unit price. So this can be a you know, good insight for my dashboard for my senior. So what I will do is I will pin it onto my dashboard. So I will print this on my dashboard. I can go further and see. It says Mississippi has noticeable less profit, right? So that can be a red flag. So let me add this to my dashboard as well. And there is some correlation between row ID and product base margin, which we don't want because row ID is not, you know, something which is a very useful measure. And here we have a sales by ship mode. So regular air accounts for majority of the sales. So most of the sales which we are, do, are delivering is through air. So this can be a good insight. So let me pin it. So that's how you pick and choose whatever insights you want from your particular report, which is created by Power BI. And you can pin it to your dashboard and then you can go to your dashboard that all of these has been added to your dashboard. So that's how it looks. I mean, you, you can use quick insights for your advantage, something which you can't visualize or you couldn't visualize. It can come handy from quick insight and you can directly use those visuals in your dashboard. So in this section, we understood how ask a question about your data works and how we can use quick insights. I hope you understood this part. Uh, we'll go further in the next section. Thank you.